it going, everybody? Just wanted to throw a video up today, so uh, I'm going to uh, show my survival horror games. I don't have as many as I used to. I don't even have any Resident Evils anymore. I just uh, sold the remake on GameCube not too long ago. <clears throat> I've played a lot more than I have, but I just really wanted to get a video up, so I figured I'd show them. <clears throat> Plus, just like a quick uh, channel update. I haven't, put up, I haven't been uh, putting up as many videos lately. Just because I'm pretty much out of collections to show. There are gameplay vids I want to put up, and I said I will be putting them up this week. But uh, there's a bunch of videos I actually want to make, <clears throat> but I don't, I don't have the things yet that, that I want to do it with. I am ordering that stuff this week. And that should be pretty fun. I hope everybody enjoys those. <clears throat> Maybe throw up another GameCube type video. I don't know. I'm kind of run that into the ground. But uh, also, I may, I may start doing reviews. If anybody in the comments wants to see any, you know, or if anybody wants to see any, put them in the comments. I don't know. It'd probably just be me talking about the game. I don't have any, like, software or anything to, like, you know, put still shots up or put, like, video footage up while I'm doing it, unless I just want to play it while I'm reviewing it. But, uh, <clears throat> just to, to quick and, and, you know, just quickly say that, but, uh, here's the uh, games. First one here, I, I guess, is a survival horror game, Night Trap, and it's like a CD. <clears throat> That's the first one. I guess you can label it as survival horror. Or just a horrible game. <laughs> Here we got uh, Silent Before the Room. It's a great game. Love the Silent Hills. I've said this before. <clears throat> Still want to get two and three. I had them. But I do want to get them again. They're a little bit pricey. <clears throat> and it's the first one. I have actually had the first one. It's downloaded on the PlayStation 3 from the PSN. I had a copy of that and sold it. I mentioned that in a video. I sold that in the second one for like 75 bucks on eBay. It was awesome. Can't, I can't, I cannot get rid of it at that price, whatever, you know. But, uh, this is a good one. A lot of people don't like this. Story's good. It's got a, go a couple good scares. It has the first person view when you're in the room, which is different. The Thing, this is another good game. I picked this up. It's like dirt cheap. It's like four or five bucks now at GameStop. It's cool to get squad-based stuff, and it's like the movie, too. People start getting paranoid and stuff in your group because they don't know who the thing is and shit, so they start acting weird. It's got some creep-out moments. Good action in there as well. Definitely cool squad based stuff. A lot of cursing in this game. <laughs> Here's another one I enjoy, Clock Tower 3. You don't do, uh, you don't really attack the enemies. You have holy water or whatever you can throw at them, but it's mostly you just running and hiding, which is cool. I mean, I enjoy it. Maybe, maybe people don't, but another thing that's cool about this is that uh, it's got like really like intense cutscenes, man, of the killers or the people you're running from. Then they show what they did. Like the first one has the guy kills this little girl that plays piano. That's pretty graphic. And then this other one has the guy throwing a mother and son in like a vat of acid. It is definitely pretty intense. <clears throat> cool game though. Uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories does that same kind of thing. You can't attack the enemies. And I remember uh, Eat the Champion had a video up where he said, you know, what are your anticipated games? I said Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Then him and someone else said, you know, I don't know how good it's going to be because you can't really, uh, you know, you don't really do it. There's not combat and it. it's just you run. But I saw a cool quick look video on uh, GiantBomb.com and it looks cool. You know, I'm going to pick it up so I can borrow my friend's weight. I want to pick it up. I, I love the Silent Hill, so i got to at least give it a shot. <clears throat> but uh, it could end up sucking, but <laughs> it looks pretty good. It's got decent reviews, but anyway, this is a good game, Clock Tower 3. Is a creepy ass game. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. These games are very creepy. I never played the third one, I played the first. I've never beaten this one yet. These games are creepy. The second to, for me to Silent Hill, these are great, man. It's so creepy. The ghosts come out of nowhere, it's dark, it's hell, man. There's just quick things of ghosts, and you got the camera, so you get them close ups of the stuff coming at you because you gotta take pictures of them to fight them off. It's a creepy as hell game. Pick this one up if you're into it. It's a little pricey. I think I paid 20 bucks for this on eBay or something. This, uh, this isn't really a survival horror, I just want to throw it in there so I can get more games in there. Resident Evil 5, I mean, it, it's just action now. I mean, it started with just action on the fourth one. I mean, better controls, but less scares <clears throat> as opposed to the earlier ones. It's still a good game, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a really good game, but it's not really survival horror. Here's a cool game that didn't creep me out too much, but it's awesome. Dead Space. Definitely, like I said, I said before, it does things differently. Definitely a sick game. It's cheap now. It's only like 20 bucks. Condemned 2 Bloodshot, I consider the survival horror since it's got good scares and incredible hand on hand. Like the hand combat is just awesome when you're hitting someone. It makes it, it feels like you're hitting them. It's great. <clears throat> Creepy ass game. Not as good as the first, but still very good. 
There's a Silent Hill Homecoming. I've said before, I have a love-hate relationship with this game. I have not beaten it. It pisses me off like every hour I play it. Unfortunately, it's good, but once again, since it's now made by different people, it's not made, you know, they're not doing it in Japan. I think, you know, a Western developer does it now, so it's a... Uh, they put a little too much more combat in it for me. It's still good, and it looks great, and it does have scares in it, but it's just there's too many enemies coming at you, and the combat's not that good in these games to begin with, so you can't have enemies coming at you left and right. It's more about worrying about what's coming and shit, but it's still a pretty good game. And a bad, and a bad game at the same time. Here's a game I got picked up. Cursed Mountain for the uh, Wii. This is actually pretty cool. I, I'm going to put a gameplay video up for this. It's, it's, it's pretty creepy so far. The controls are pretty good. There's parts where you have to, you know, just move the Wii remote to, like, line it up with the enemy. And that gets a little bit frustrating when they come at you because it's not, like, exact. And it takes a little bit of time. But it's pretty creepy. The combat is pretty good. I mean, they use the Wii remote in pretty good ways. Definitely a cool game. I'm going to put some gameplay up for this because it's uh, worth checking out. It's only 20 bucks at GameStop. And uh, last one here. This is a, a really creepy game as well. If anyone can get it on the computer, to get it. Blair Witch Volume 1, Rust and Paul. This is a, a creepy game. I know they made two other ones. I never played those. But this one's creepy as hell. I got this a while ago. Maybe like 2000 or 2001. And it's got a lot of good scares in here, man. It, it, it's, uh, you, go into the, you go into the woods and stuff and you see the house from the movie and you're like upstairs in the house and you look outside there's little ghost children playing. You're in the diner early in the beginning and out of nowhere it just quick flashes and there's someone sitting in the booth behind you. It's definitely got a lot of scares, man. It's, it's, it's a really good game. I'd pick this up. It's pretty cheap, I think. <clears throat> now, definitely uh, check this out if you haven't. It's a creepy game. But, uh... That's my Savar Hall collection and a uh, quick channel update. But uh, more videos coming soon, and hopefully, when I get that stuff that I want to get, I can put up some new uh, videos and maybe do some reviews. But uh, thanks everybody for uh, checking this out, and have a good night.